What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to show you how to pass any prop firm challenge with this risk management plan. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so this is going to be the last video that you need to watch in order to pass any funded challenge, any combine, um, things of that nature, get funded, okay? This is going to be your risk management plan, okay? So for the first example, we are going to, um, or for this example, we are going to start with a 10K 10k challenge okay so usually uh phase one on most prop firms right now is eight percent okay for uh for phase one Phase one, two percent, and then phase two, five percent. Okay. Now, when you're starting off with your initial balance, okay of 10,000 your first trade you're only to risk 0.25% right this is one fourth of a percent to make half a percent or 1%, okay? So this is your first trade, all right? So let's, so once, let's say your first trade you win, uh, first trade, let's say you win, uh, Right, quarter to one would be okay. So it would be to make uh, one fourth to make one fourth percent or 50%. Okay, so let's say the first trade, uh, this is this is your one to one RR or one to two RR, right. Okay, so let's say your first trade, it's a one-to-one, -one. you're up one-fourth of a percent, so you're up 0.25%, okay? Then your second trade, let's say you win again, you're up another 0.25%, and your third trade, Let's say you minus 0.25. So the key here is once, once you're at 2% of your beginning balance, then you can increase your risk to half a percent to make half a percent or one percent. Okay, so 
once you get to half a, half a percent or once you get to 2% of the beginning balance, which means once you get to 10,200, right, is your 2%. Now you can risk half a percent, which would be half a percent, which would be $50 per trade, okay? So at a one-to-one, -one, you're gonna make your $50, and at a one-to-two, you're gonna make $100, okay? So let's say now, once you get to uh, 4%, right? Which would put you at um, $10,400, which would equal your 4%. Now you can risk 1% to make 1% or two percent per trade. Okay. Which means you're you're risking hundred dollars to make one hundred dollars which is your one to one or your one to two risking one hundred dollars to make two hundred dollars okay so at four percent even with a one-to-one, -one, in four more trades, you would pass phase one, right? So this would be your phase one done, okay? And you would just do the same thing for your phase two, okay? Now, if you start to, uh, if you start to go into drawdown, you are going to stay, okay, let's, let's move this over here, okay. Now, if you go on a losing streak and go into drawdown, Stay at the one fourth of a percent, or this is also risking twenty five dollars at one fourth of a percent or point two five percent until you're back up to until you're back up to your two percent. Now, if you go into drawdown 2%, then dial risk down to uh, half of one fourth, which would equal about 1250. A trade for one to one RR or one to two RR.
okay? Until you're back up to minus 2%. Of the original balance. Okay. The name of the game here, the name of the game here is to let the time run out on these challenges, right? So now even some challenges don't have a time limit. So with the right risk management plan like this one, you're not going to blow your count. You're not going to over leverage. You're going to have plenty of time. It's going to be less stressful because you're not over leveraging. You're not gambling. Um, this is going to help build your discipline and you know when to increase your risk and when to pull it back, right? Like a throttle on a motorcycle. If you're on a motorcycle and you're about to crash into a wall, you would not pull the throttle even harder and go faster, would you? You would want to pull the brakes and go pull back on the throttle and let off of the gas, right? So it's the same thing we're doing here is as we're creating that buffer on the original balance, we can start to increase some risk because we have that cushion built and vice versa. As we start to go into a drawdown, the way to get yourself out of that is to pull the risk down, pull the percentage per trade down until you climb your way back out. Because once you have your strategy and your rules, then with the right risk management, you can and you will get yourself out of drawdown. Now, it's not it's not fun, right? It's not the part of trading that is um, put in the spotlight a lot of times, but getting out of drawdown is a skill that I think is very overlooked. It's not talked about. Usually what happens is people get into a certain amount of drawdown and they just think, oh, the account or the challenge is done for. I might as well just gamble or, or throw huge risks at per, per each trade to just see if I can't get out of here or just give up, right? Don't give up, okay? I have come out of crazy amounts of drawdown with this exact plan and have passed challenges from dang near almost about to lose the overall uh, daily loss limit uh, or the overall loss limit, right? Not the daily drawdown, but the overall drawdown. Climbed my way back within the permitted time and passed the challenge. So it can be done, but you have to stick to a disciplined plan, have a plan in place. And so this works on, doesn't matter what, size capital you have, uh, what percentage target you have. Um, this risk management plan is the last one that you will need to pass any, any challenge. Until next time, and as always, trade safe.